All right. Morning, morning, morning. Morning, 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 indeed. Oh, this is going to be such a... This is going to be a bad episode for Facebook. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I have any influence on uh, you their a great weekend. Huh? You had that good of a weekend? I did not have a good of a weekend. I start, it started on Friday. At, um, oh, this is, I'm just adjusting my camera, sorry. Trying to get some natural, natural tone. Am I frozen now? You are frozen. Excellent. 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 Let me turn my camera off. Let's restart this. I don't know what's... Oh, I'm back. With all settings. Oh, this is this is this is just just phenomenal. Anyway, how was your weekend? Tell me about that while I'm trying to troubleshoot my camera. My weekend was pretty good. I had uh, another sign up for my home selling course and a sign up for nice. um, interview simulator. Of course, those are both free sign ups, but anyway, they're now in the, the unlike of many of my interview simulator sign ups, this person actually did 87% of the course, so the free course so far. That's good. So that's, that's a good, good sign, hopefully. Yeah. Um, um, did you work? Did you, did you have, did you do any uh, of that course material stuff? Yeah. I listened to, I don't know, maybe three hours of audio stuff, my course, which was good. looks like you're frozen again. And, uh, yeah, I worked on, I wrote about five pages of script for my leadership for retail managers course. So I had some inspiration yesterday did that. I watched the new four hour Justice League, uh, Zack Schneider or Snyder cut. I had to watch it over two days though. Four hours is just too friggin' long for one movie. Four hours, that's crazy. Wait, I'm just gonna adjust the light here. Yesterday was such a great, was such a good day. Oh yeah. So I took a dog for lots of walks all weekend. It was beautiful. Can't, I can't blame you. It's um, no, it's been quite quite amazing, quite amazing. So I have. Um, I'm just gonna jump jump right into what's weighing on my mind. I can't wait. Yeah. The the, the whole the whole um, last week was 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 good. I was I was keeping on pace with the plan of the course. Everything's I was I was doing everything, and on Friday. Uh, came a time when I thought everything was ready and I was ready to run some ads on Facebook. I have my yeah. Facebook group, just uh, you you run lead ads. Uh, in other words, you're automatically collecting people as leads and, yeah. then, and then you can communicate with them and essentially grow your list as well. Uh, put put the ad together. Uh, the course outlines what you need to do, uh, exact verbiage, uh, what not to put, what what to put, so as you, you don't get flagged. Guess what? All of the ads rejected. Six six different oh, sorry eight different copies uh, of the ad, all rejected. Recently, Did they tell you why? Huh? Do they tell you why, or they just tell you? Oh why yeah yeah. Uh, the the description is so helpful that you don't know what to do, and. What's also great about Facebook is uh, since there's such a behemoth and they couldn't really care less about you or I, um, there's no way to get in touch with them, especially if you've never run ads before. So I was, I was on YouTube looking up how do I contact to talk to somebody to understand what's happening with my ads because I'm flagged for multi-level marketing, get yeah. rich schemes specifically. It's Anyway, I know I'm not doing it. Everyone else who reads my website knows I'm not doing it. Facebook, this is this is the dark side of AI. Yeah. Because we talked about how you can create copy, and this is the dark side. The bot decides that you are running MLM. It flags you once. It flags you twice. Now, in its uh, infinite wisdom, you have a much higher propensity score to be flagged. 
And so next time you submit, you flagged again. And then, uh, as of yesterday, they blocked my account's ability to run any ads, not, 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 not even to create ads. Wow. You know what the funny thing is? You still cannot get a hold of anyone. So it's kind of like, yeah, you're shit out of luck. Yeah. Yeah, so that was, that was a, that's a massive setback because well, Facebook um, is to be one of the main channels to attract people into your beta yeah. test. So I've started running ads on my wife's account. Luckily, that didn't get blocked. Same ad, by the way. Same copy, same image. So it's not the copy or the ad necessarily. No, it's not. Your account has somehow been... Yeah. Yeah, my account somehow has been flagged for whatever reason, and I'm out of luck. And so I was, I was, say, I was saying that on YouTube, you can see that people say, oh, you go to uh, business.facebook.com slash, uh, I think, help or something and support. And there should be a button that says click here to chat to resolve your issues. Yeah. I go there. There's a text saying, need more help? contact support and the space below it is blank and then i read uh, that you probably like i wouldn't be able to see that button because i haven't spent a single dollar with facebook but guess what i wanted to spend a single dollar with facebook and i was banned so it's a perfect catch 22 you can't do what you want to do and you can't talk to people who can help you to do what you want to do so um it's 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 interesting it's interesting how uh, what Facebook was in the beginning, all of the all of the idealism has just gone out the window. And yeah. uh, I know I know it's not Zuckerberg who's actually day to day hands on keys doing all of this stuff, but uh, it's certainly certainly not the Facebook that was originally bringing people together. Yeah. So that's I don't ah. I don't know, maybe they'll get back to me and say, I, I have no idea what's going to happen now. That's not good. Yeah. Well, at least you have an outlet with your wife's account. I do. Well, but that, but that's, that's luck, uh, essentially. That's, that's just, yeah. um, that's just luck on my, on my side. Yeah. Because if, if that wasn't the case, then I paid a lot of money for this course only to find out that, oh yeah, technical difficulties. Yeah. And they don't have any uh, secrets in your course, how to navigate this stuff? Um, see, the, the, to navigate, you have to get hold of Facebook. Right. Because right. you have to resolve. If a human being looks at this, it, it becomes yeah. quite apparent that this is um, it's a, it's a, it's a mistaken algorithm for whatever yeah. reason, like recency, frequency of stuff that happened. Uh, verbiage that probably was used, I don't know where, maybe, you, uh, what, the only thing I'm thinking about is, because I started originally, remember, uh, my whole initial idea was to help entrepreneurs get started online, yeah. and so it was a lot about how to make money online. Yeah. So if it's, it's legit, it's internet marketing, and it's not like I'm the only one who's promoting it, there's tons yeah. of people doing it, but nevertheless, if that was the original thing and that got the algorithm evaluating me incorrectly, I mean, yeah. I wouldn't be the wiser. I, I did not realize that. Uh, ah. Yeah, well, so you got, I remember you got way further than I did. Like, I didn't even get that far. I, just, I tried to set up my business account or something and I got rejected immediately. On Facebook? So, yeah. Yeah. I never, I, I still have an, a, like my Team UIP page, I guess, but I don't know. I mean, I got to spend more time on that. I actually have a course today. I signed up, I sent you an email last night. It was this uh, Learning Worlds three day seminar thing. Yeah, so was, I, I, I saw that and it's, it looked quite interesting. It's just yeah, uh, there's a whole shitload of content that you can sign up for. I, I've got three of them that I signed up for today. Plus today I've got my course creation webinar with Amy Porterfield. Mm -hmm. uh, it's funny, what, one of the assignments we had for our course, so the, the guy talks, he uses the metaphor of mice and cheese. So when you're, you're trying to figure out um, how to market to people, it's like, what's their, what's their cheese? 
what and what's the conversation they're having in their head. Yeah. So the assignment was to, to give examples of good examples of cheese, who the prospective audience is and what's the conversation that's going on in their head. Mm -hmm. And and then to find examples of non cheese where they just got it wrong. Anyway, so my one of my examples was PLR.me because I got a few emails on the weekend from my buddy Ronnie at PLR. Yeah, Ronnie, Ronnie's, <laughs> Ronnie's the rock. And it's funny, two of the two of the people, one of them's in BC and one of them's in the UK. They responded to, to because we're posting our answers on the on Facebook. They said that uh, the guy in the UK he uses PLR dot me for a bunch of stuff. Yep. And so does the lady in BC. So it's uh, it was just interesting to me that you know how widespread and big it, it is could be. I mean, it's you know, huge. It's just it's sample huge. size, but. It's uh, it's not like you and I just discovered. We've been publishing no, no, this I, for a long time. For sure. I've actually, uh, I use some of my credits to download a piece for my course, a number of pieces for my course. So yeah. uh, there, there was a good, relatively good, uh, by good I mean I didn't have to adapt it a lot. Didn't have yeah. to do a lot of changes on goal setting and uh, one on um, a light life plan. So one of the one of the objectives of my course is when you come out of it, you know what you want to do. I, I told you about this. Like you set yeah. goals, you set your strategic plan, and then within those define how you're going to be looking for niches. Because people usually do it the other way. You first decide on the niche, and then you figure out, oh shit, it doesn't fit into my plan. Yeah. Or it, it doesn't fit into my life. Um, or they don't think about this. Anyway, the outcome of the first portion of the course, the first module, is you're supposed to uh, create a, what I call a map to success. Map to success. I'm, I'm original like that. I'm like wow. a professional marketing No wonder no Facebook's banned you. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. Anyway, but that map to success is supposed to be all-encompassing finance, relationship, family, business, uh, thought process of what you want to achieve. In other words, manifestation. That yeah. was um, PLR got me had a very very good uh, like eight page book. Cool. So that was um, that was it. I also updated some of my pages with the uh, copy AI verbiage. And well, nothing's happened yet, but uh, I feel better about it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty pretty. Uh, it's very good. It's very yeah. good. Surprising. So, we'll see. I, I uh, so on. I think I told you it was either. I guess it was Thursday. I posted on LinkedIn that I was looking for volunteers to do pre coaching practice with. Yep. Anyway, I had I had like 150 or so views of the post. I got nobody messaged me. So then I I posted it on Facebook as well, and uh, I've had no responses. So. I'm going to give it most of today to see if anyone responds, and then I'm just going to reach out to people directly, basically beg. Because our, our next call is on Wednesday, and I, want, I don't want to go into our call, our coaching call on Wednesday and say, I've done it. Well, it would be interesting to see how they're supporting you, because um, uh, in, in terms of recruiting people, mm -hmm. uh, so through... <laughs> Again, through my wife's channels, because uh, most of this, most of the leads are coming from her, which is great. Yeah. She's got uh, she's got her registered nutritionist is has holds a lot of weight. Meanwhile, an MBA is nobody gives a crap. Yeah, it's fair. But it's a good it's a good learning. I have I think I have six sixteen people right now. For your beta test, uh, organically, yes. Uh -huh. This is this is pre ads. Ads just started today at six a.m. So let's take a look. Uh, How many people are you trying to get? Well, hoping for a hundred at least. Wow. Hoping, but we'll see. It's pretty ambitious. It is seventeen. Oh, look at that! Seventeen people. Yeah, 17. Or, so I already have technically, if, if half of them join, I might have yeah. like an eight person, uh, two week course. That's great. Yeah. But I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping that the ads are going to bring more people in. 
which means and you also need to set up a, I need to set up a zap uh, to pick up any leads that Facebook generates and uh, automatically add them to active campaign right so do you, is that free is zapier free zapier is free uh, now Facebook leads ads are actually part of its pro plan Okay. But uh, it's 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 I think it's it's available for a weekly trial. So if throughout this week I might be able to use it for free, and then it's going to go away. But you can still manually download the leads and import yeah. them into the automation system. Yeah, that reminds me. The copy AI thing was a seven day trial, right? Yeah, I think I, I think mine last mine should be turned off by now. Yeah, I, I got to go back on there maybe today. The other thing I'm wasting time on is my credit card expires. I got my new credit card, but now everything that's set up to pay on my credit card, mm -hmm. I'm, get, I'm getting the email saying my payment's been declined because I have to update my... Oh, credit card information? Yeah. <laughs> so now i got to go through and figure out, oh, shit, because i got everything going through my credit card. Yep. So i got to get that all figured out. Yeah, that's interesting. And my... I apologize for Friday, my audio. I don't know why, but like Camtasia defaulted the microphone to my headset. Even though I've never, I don't even think I've ever used my headset on Camtasia. Greg, that something else, something else must have been going on. Um, the reason I'm saying that is I was hearing you. So you and I had a conversation. If that was defaulted yeah. to your microphone, I, yeah. it wouldn't have been as clear as it is today. Yeah, I, I don't know. Did you by chance just delete the audio track? No, no, because I, I dragged it on and I and then it wasn't there and then I undragged it and then dragged it back on. Um, and then when I went, I, I went to record again just to see what the setting was at and it was on Logitech um, uh, headset. But the, the, the thing is, that's for recording, but for actual like the, my system microphone is my microphone. Um, so, but I, I see that that's, that that's that's what didn't make sense. I was hearing you in a session, yeah, and as as clear as I'm hearing you right, right. now. And so I remember through, the one time that you had your headset, yeah. So, but, but through Google Meet, my um, it is set to my microphone, and that's why the captions, everything was picking up on my captions, and you could hear me. But then on the 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 microphone setting within Camtasia, I don't know, it was defaulted for some reason to the headset. Oh, I see. I see. I see what you're saying. Oh, well. Anyway, so this you, you had the most important person that people could hear. So that's... Well, that's, exactly. That's, that's, that's if your mic wasn't working, that would have been a problem. Yeah. No <laughs> that would have been terrible. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, I'm doing my... The other thing I finished off was for Interview Simulator, I'm doing... Um, on my rotation. So every Monday I have a video of something. So this week is a question and answer from interview simulator. So I actually answer a question and then I break down the answer. Like how did I, you know, structure it and right. answer it the way I did that kind of thing. So I got that video all ready to go as soon as this call's done. And then I got like three hours. I got three of those learning courses today plus the amy porterfield course thing so i got like three hours of online stuff to watch today yeah i'm i'm, I'm curious what you'll um i need to sign up for amy's one of amy's courses she's uh she's like a she's a heavyweight in this industry yeah. she's she's done very well for herself and for people who took her courses so i just i just want to make sure that i understand how she does it yeah. Well, from from whatever I saw somewhere, she's made like over twelve million dollars yeah. doing this. Yeah. So, I'd be happy with one million. So would I. So would I. <laughs> Indeed. I'd be happy with one hundred at this point. <laughs> Baby steps. I'm both. I'm like at well, I'm I think I'm seven hundred and fifty dollars or something on Kajabi. So I when you hit a thousand, you get like a a congratulations email or something from Kajabi. So that's my, my target right now. Anyway, I'm hoping I've got like, you know, a few fish on the line. Hope they bite. They don't break away. Yeah. 
Well, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Everything. Everything is gonna like one day somehow. Probably not even the way you think about this. It's all, yeah. gonna, it's all gonna pan out. Yeah, I know. I I, th- I think it'll, the same thing will happen for both of us. Is one morning you're gonna wake up and it'll be a morning when you have low expectations and you'll log into your system and all of a sudden boop, it'll pop up that you've sold yeah hundreds of courses overnight or something. You're gonna holy fuck. Yeah, that's true. So that's the dream, anyway. Yeah, that's the dream. Well, I got I got nothing else. I'm 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 gonna go back to uh, trying to figure out uh, what's happening and see if I can yeah. find some some magical email to contact Facebook. Um, but I also don't want to waste too much time on this. I'm al- yeah. I'm almost I'm almost feeling like oh heck with this. Just create a brand new account. Yeah. I don't know if it, that's going to uh, change anything because its account is always tied to your personal profile. So yeah. you'll have to recreate your personal profile. But you have, can you create it? Like if you had multiple businesses, yes. like can you, can you just create, is it your... Your business still li- is linked to a personal profile or somebody's yes. personal profile. Yeah. But is it your personal profile that's flagged or your or that? Yeah, or yeah because, uh, because it's, uh, it's, it's whoever... You, Whoever's the administrator yeah. of the page, that person is being blocked, essentially. Oh, okay. So okay. it's Yeah. I'm actually surprised. Like I I have I mean I've been on Facebook for a long time, but I've never really used it that much. But like the course I'm on, they're using Facebook to deliver content. They're using it to book events like there are weekly call and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um he basically is duplicating, like I can listen to the recordings that he has on Kajabi, I can listen to them on Kajabi or I can listen to them on Facebook. That's um, great. So, and I suppose I could listen to them on YouTube because when they appear to be coming from YouTube, I don't know. Anyway, it's, uh, it's interesting. Well, that's, but that's the one thing that's in my mind, uh, this experience makes me weary of Facebook. Because at any point in time, your business can be lost by a flick of a switch. Yeah. So if you don't have people knowing you for your website or where to find you, that becomes yeah. a very, very uh, challenging proposition. Yeah. And this is... What is... Yeah. It, 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 there's a high level of fragility with, with putting all your eggs in one basket, whether it's Facebook or YouTube or LinkedIn. Like you could wake up one morning and an algorithm is fucked you over exactly. <laughs> and, and you're out of luck i don't know it is uh yeah it's it's the it's the ongoing risk of a platform which is well god god forbid it shouldn't be the same way but uh i mean kajabi is also holds all of your content right now yeah and should anything yeah. happen to um i don't know their isp or something to happen to that service i'm sure they're well distributed yeah. and multi levels of backup, but yeah. it's still. Well, they had a huge issue a couple of weeks ago on email deliverability. Um, oh yeah, you were t- you were saying yeah. And I mean, it was it was basically a disaster for them. Like it got to the like the the president or owner or whoever he is was apologizing on the Facebook group and stuff. And I mean, they they figured it out but now they've got all these other protocols they put in place for email lists because i think part of the problem was that there's certain um email service providers around the world who had flagged anything coming from kajabi yes. as spam yep <clears throat> so now that they, now they've kind of clamped it down a little bit so they're, now they're now i see a lot of chatter about people complaining that you know lists they've been using for a long time are getting flagged now that the engagement levels are too low they need to edit their lists yeah that's uh that's 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 a known that's a known thing uh, we talked about that I, I was telling you about like mailchimp doesn't allow any communication about affiliate programs multi-level marketing and none of that stuff yeah like, it just plainly will not you can have as many people as you want on mailchimp you, they yeah. will not send your emails one of the tips i saw was setting up your email program in such a way that if, like if somebody's getting your lead magnet, yep, they, you just send it to them. You have to you send them an email and they have to reply to it, yep. and then they get 
the the thing because you want to create this engage that if they reply to your emails it helps with your engagement scores okay for from the email providers because they see the a back and forth um that's a good idea that's a very yeah. good idea. so it's kind of a it it's kind of one of these things where it's it's counterintuitive because you're adding friction to the process for the person like they have to do an extra step yep and you may lose people because they go off, you know, they either don't see it or they don't bother doing it. Yep. But, but, it, but there's a, a reason to do it in terms of showing the algorithm that people are opening and responding to the email. So it's not, it's not spam. Yeah. Even in this, uh, what we're talking, we're talking for 25 minutes right now, even in the span of 25 minutes, you already uncover the, um, you, you watch Black Mirror, right? No. No? You should. Yeah, is it good? It's very good. You uh, Feel free to start with uh, Season 2. Uh, okay. Se Why? No, Season 1 is good. It's just uh, incredibly dark. I think the uh, the whole the whole show is dark. It's like very, very... It's taking, it's taking any ideas to the very extreme. Just, just mm -hmm. to see what what that would what would that would feel like living in a world when that, whatever that is, is pushed to the extreme. Right. So um, yeah, um, there's um, there's one episode which is shot all in black and white. Uh, they're not they're not connected. Each episode is a story in its own right. Okay. So uh, there's one episode that's shot in black and white, and um, it's a dis. Obviously, it's a dystopic future. Uh, there is a, there's a warehouse and a group of people are trying to steal something from the warehouse. And the warehouse security <laughs> is automated like, machines that like, look like dogs, uh, which are supposed to eliminate the threat, quite literally. And um, those those dogs look exactly uh, like what what Boston Dynamics is building right now. And I'm sure you've seen those like uh, robot dogs. Yeah. yeah, that's that's exactly it. And and it's when, once you watch the Black Mirror episode, you can never stop thinking. It's like, what the hell are we doing as a human race? Yeah, like this is. They have those dogs I saw on the news uh, not too many, many months ago in. Uh, I think it was in Japan or something, going around in public places, finding people that aren't wearing their masks and telling them to put their masks on. <laughs> and so it begins. Like, okay, thanks, robot dog. <laughs> yeah, it's it's interesting. It's uh, I you remember those opening credits of uh, I think it's Terminator Two or Terminator One when the machine just crashes the skull on the ground. Yeah, that's not how it's going to be. This is going to be no. those little dogs telling you to wear a mask first. That's right. And, and then that little then dog, that little dog, you. yeah, connecting to your Facebook profile and disabling it because you didn't wear your mask. That's right. It's, just, it's the small things. There's going to be a, um, somebody's going to invent something that's like a virtual mask that, that you, it's like a hologram so you can trick people. You're not actually wearing one. It just looks like you're wearing one. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh man. Okay, I'm off to fight. Let the game begin. I'm off to fight uh, the good fight. Let's see what this one right. brings. Good luck. All right, buddy. Okay, see ya.